Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial and I'm gonna start with a new series on YouTube on how to make Minecraft mods. And today this is gonna be the first tutorial, so I'm gonna show you how to set up your uh, environment that you work in. Now, before we start, I have a website where I explain everything in detail in text. So, my suggestion is that you go to this website and you read what it says, because this is more in detail, this is more explained. So the video tutorials are so that you can follow along and maybe listen, but the actual text tutorials are on my website, which is mousetutorial.co.nf. A uh, link will be in the description, of course. If you go to this header, you can browse all the tutorials. As you can see, I have like 19 now. And you can click on my headers, so if you want to go to my Minecraft forum page, you can go. No problem. So. Uh, that was what I wanted to say before we actually start and now let's get started um, what I did is I made a special video Oh, that's not supposed to be there video tutorials there we go I made a special folder uh, for my workspace so you might want to do that too uh, make a special folder for your tutorial for your um, for your dev environment Okay, so once you have that, we're ne we need to download a few things. First one is our I IDE. Uh, I'm going to use IntelliJ because I love this IDE. Uh, it works really quick, it works really well. Some might use Eclipse, but I really suggest you download this. So it's a straightforward download. Click on download and uh, download the community edition. That one is free. And yeah, it's normal setup, so that shouldn't be a problem second one I want to download is the uh, Forge. Um, if you go to files.minecraftforge.net you see this website and what you want to do is go to the 1.7.2 because that's what my tutorials are based on and you want to get the latest so go all the way to the right and click on the SRC. So once you do that you'll get a zip file of course and we're gonna open that And you'll get a zip file with all these folders. What you want to do is write, drag and drop them in your directory that you are going to work in. So right now I have this folder video tutorial with all these files. Cool. Now um, what you want to do is go to, you want to open a command prompt in this location. The easiest way to do this is go back one folder, shift right click on the folder and click open command prompt here. My PC is in Dutch so it doesn't say open command prompt here but uh, if you install if you have an English PC it should say that. Cool. Um, now as you can see I, I have done this on my website as well so what we're going to do now is execute the next command which is gradle.w.bat set up decomp workspace and this works for Windows of course if you are on a Mac you, also, you only want to type gradle.w but we type gradle.w.bat set up Decomp workspace. Hit enter, and now this is going to take a while. This is going to take quite a long time because it needs to do all kind of stuff. Now my PC is really fast, and I've done this once before, so it, on my PC it goes really rather quick. But you might want to wait for that a few minutes, actually. Um, so once I'm on that. Uh, well, that is installing. I'm going to show you a little bit about my website. Now, as I told you, you can browse all my tutorials here and you can go to my website. But there's also a good, a, another header which is GitHub. And all my source code, what I type in my tutorials, is here. So let's say, for example, you read tutorial for a blog. You click on that and you see all the source code that you need. It's commented and everything, so it's really easy to find the code that you need. Uh, that's what something I wanted to show you guys and if you have a request for a tutorial you can always um, fill in the form and I'll see it. Uh, another great tutorial series is Whoopi series so if you want to see that check it out. Now I'm gonna upload to this um, YouTube channel with which you are w watching actually now so make sure to, su to hit the subscribe button if you want to. So mine is done. You can see it skipped a lot of things because as I said I have already done it but on your PC it might take a little bit longer. Now what we're gonna do is we type gradle w.bat id or 
well. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that will do some stuff. Okay, so once um, or close projects. Okay, so once you open up idea for the first time, you'll see this. This is uh, this will be empty, of course. Uh, create new project, import, open, checkouts, configure, and docs. What you want to do is click on import project and browse to your location. So mine is in what was it? Video tutorial? I don't know. Yeah, video tutorial. Video tutorial, and you want to highlight the builder gradle and click OK and click OK again. So now it will uh, idea will set up your workspace for all you it really easy. Um, Forge is really easy because they have already done quite a lot of stuff for you already. So, yep. We gotta wait a few seconds for this. Actually, a bit longer than I had anticipated, but okay. Now you want to open up your command prompt again and um, wait till this is finished. Now what we need is a run config, so we're gonna create a run config. Or did I already do that? I'm not sure. Nope. So we want to open up the command prompt and type cradle w dot g i r. So gen IntelliJ runs. So either it's this command, J Gradle Intelligent Runs, or GIR, and press enter, it will take like 10 seconds, maybe 5 even. 5. Cool. So now you want to refresh your workspace because we m made some changes, and you want to go to Run, Edit Run Configurations, Application, Minecraft Clients, and click OK. Now what you can do is go to the run configuration and change your username if you want to, but that's not required of course. And now let's click on run and run Minecraft client. Now Minecraft will start up and you'll see the normal Minecraft as you would play it in game. But in this time we run it out of our IDE, which is exactly what we want. So there we go. As you can see, I have a few mods installed, Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge, Minecraft Forge, and an example mod. Why is that example mod there? Well, open up this triangle of video tutorial, open up SRC, main, Java, and you'll see there is a, a mod already, an example mod. So this is uh, something that Forge placed in, so you can actually check if, if ID runs your mod, and it does, so that's cool. What we're going to do now is just delete this and delete this again. Because it's an example and we're not going to use it. So I'm also going to delete this because that's not what I need. Now it's going to search and you need to do a refactor really quick. Um, but that's it. So this is uh, your workspace. This is what we're going to use to work with. Uh, if you have any questions make sure to comment them below. I would really love if you have questions you put them on the Minecraft forum page which is of course in the description or go to my website so um, that's my first tutorial I hope you like it leave some feedback on how I did in the comments and uh, perhaps I'll see you next time uh, see ya